Hi out there. Wow, welcome to the show. I welcome you once again to this specific training on personal perception. How did you fare in the first course? I hope you did enjoy it. My name is James Komolafe from the School of Articulation and Behavioral Alignment Resources, aka Saba Resources. This is video two of the course Understanding and Relating with Your Personal Perception. In other words, how do I relate and release my personal perception? And today we're going to have six lessons. Lesson one, appreciating the gift of perception. Lesson number two, 10 major factors affecting your perception. And in lesson number three, we're going to learn about the frank truth about perception the resources, and the results. Lesson number four, journey of perception from the start to the finish. How does it work? And then number five, the 21 things you need to know in creating your daily realities through perception. And last but not the least, lesson number six is the quiz of the day, which of course you know you have to submit within four days. Welcome to the show. So lesson number one, how do I appreciate the gift of perception? Perception is the force of life binding you to the society, the world around you, the relative sensitivity and sensibilities. You are the one in the saddle when it comes to perception and it is based on your level of maturity. Perception realities are the processes, the procedures, and the productive activities of the heart and mind in order to calculate and arrive at a given answer. These answers are reeled out in manifestations as outcomes of actions from your thoughts, imaginations, opinion, and views. In ascertaining a situation, the heart processes its decisions and discussion through the mind and whatever is transmitted to it from the external or internal recesses through certain interactions. So perception, that is the real thing about. Appreciating it means allowing for all of this to happen within your per time. Second lesson. Ten major factors affecting perception. Number one is nature. And that talks about biology. How were you born? What were your personal characteristics from your parents? So we're talking about that affecting the way you are able to process your perception. Two, nurture. And that talks about geography. How did you grow up and where? And then three, culture. Your interaction, sociology. Where did you grow up? With who? They could go ahead to determine how you think, feel, and reason. Then number four, scripture. That talks about your spiritual sentiments. What are the scriptures that affect you based on your religion? The God factor is there, which is part of scripture. Number five, pasture. These are products of your effort, physical effort. Your effort matters. Number six, futures. These are your personal ideologies, your personal beliefs. They come to play when you are processing your perception. Number seven, puncture. What are those pollutions you accept? Things that you permit to encroach into your own mind and life. Number eight, composure. These are your issues of personal comportment. How you carry yourself 
the matter a whole lot. And number nine, temperature, which has to do with your energy lifestyle, your emotional realities, your physical conditioning, your mental issues, and even your spiritual realities. These all form your temperature and shows to us whether you are going to vibrate at higher levels or at lower levels. Because every day, issues around about you is all about energy. So your temperature determines and also affects how you process your perception. If you are at a low pitch of life where your mood is low, it's going to affect what decision you come out with through your personal perception. Lesson number three, frank truths about perception. What are the frank truths you need to know and understand about perception? And it's a product of results that you get from your resources. Know that you cannot be higher than your personal value system and the external variables cooperating with you. So what are your value systems? What guides the way you think and reason and feel? What is that sense of importance, authority and urgency to you as an individual? That talks about your value system. What do you place so much high intention and worth personal virtue on because it's a law of energy that wherever your attention goes, there your energy flows. So you donate contents and decorate with affection a given situation as you try to give them meaning through the way you take them in, process them, and come up with results. So wow! Emotional realities are outcomes from a man's mind, from definite analysis and programming in order to alter a particular situation around you. So what happened? A man becomes mindful when his mind is fully informed with the load of his personal worth. So anytime you are thinking, you want to take a decision, you desire a thing, or you want to find out something, as you think inside and look at your thought inside you, you get your feelings back, your belief system. All of those things contribute to what you come out with because it is the content inside that determines the concept outside. So a condition where your thoughts, understanding, and imagination within you weave into deliberate intention that eventually becomes an outcome in your daily existence. And that's the story about perception. You're taking things from the outside and at times even from your inside and process them from your inside in order to come out with a result. So in this stance, a procedure is completed within and pack it for an action without. So in the school of perception, a man only achieves what he has ability to conceive in full measure, given the contents of his insight, his mind, and his heart. Lesson number four today. Journey of perception from the start to the finish. Perception is a journey you take from the start from the finish. And it could happen in a minute second. The journey of perception, depending on your mood and your emotion per time, perception happens all of the time because we are not robots. You're human beings. You receive information. You think about it. You begin to Look at them in your mind from all of the sides and angles. And then your heart picks it up, contributes its own quota, so that you can come out great and big. Every genuine perception passes through certain actions that serve the test that make decision a definite incident and not an accident. And so there are steps you need to know 
when you want to consider the journey of perception from start to finish. Number one step is called consideration. This is a point where you sit down with yourself, not minding anything else. And it is first and foremost a consideration through creative thinking. You just think and concentrate about that, on that thing. Point number two is consciousness. You cannot fail ignorance as a first party analyst in any scenario. What I found captured your heart and your mind cannot be processed. So you are conscious of what you want to do when you are talking about perception. It's not just something flowing across your mind and you just say, no, you are conscious. This is what I'm thinking about. Then number three, conversation. This is where you begin to engage your heart and your mind in order to obtain a given answer. And like we did say in video number one, it is where your attention goes, there your energy flows. So if you know in you, you have a mind that can process something and a heart that can inspire you, then you're sure to find answers there. Number four, conversion. This is the point where the mind is made up for a given conclusion based on the reality of the content of the mind. Then number five is confidence. Now, at this level, your confidence level, so as it were, increases. You have a better assurance that leads to positive self-esteem. That what you are getting now, if you adopt it, then you are just good to go. You know that from your inside. Then number six, that will lead to conviction. And what is conviction? It is a position within you where a new level of declaration from the inside is taking the space within you for a decision outside. It is conviction first, then decision follows. Then number seven in that procedure is called commitment. And what happens at the level of commitment? You take decision that is backed up with certain steps because you have taken decision. And it is decision that tells us your position about the whole matter that you have processed in yourself. Then number eight, last but not the least, is consummation. This is a follow-up process to ensure that finality is arrived based on the expectation you desire from the beginning. And this could happen within a millisecond. Just think through it, and before you know it, you have concluded. So, the deeper you are, as far as internal resources is concerned, the quicker you can process. So, don't ever be empty. When you are empty, I'm sorry, you'll be stranded in many occasions. So, deepen yourself, which is a study we'll consider in subsequent videos. Number five today, what are the 21 things you need to know in creating your daily realities? Because you are completely in charge of your daily happenings. The real things that happen in your daily life is under your beck and call. So what are the 21 things you need to know if you must create your daily realities and don't leave anything to chance just like that? Number one, the mind is the mental laboratory that processes all issues based on the level of your depth. We can't overemphasize that. You must be rich in your mind. You can't manufacture what you don't have the raw materials for in your inside. So it matters a whole lot. Number two, you are the one in charge, not someone else. So keep your guard. You must learn to take responsibility. Number three, the mind does not reject whatever is given to it. So develop your mind appreciably in order to deliver it qualitatively. Number four, the mind puts you at the steering of your own life so that you can offer a direction. So assume the place of authority. 
Don't be the one who likes to abscond responsibility. They ask you things, you say, I don't know, and you run away. No. It's time to task yourself and see and use what you have on your inside. If you don't know, life certainly you cannot flow. Number five, input for the processing creates the eventual outcomes as output. Like they say in the computer language, it is garbage in and garbage out. So work in cooperation with all your internal faculties, your will, your desires, your passion, your emotion, even your thoughts and feelings are all important in arriving at a conclusion over a matter. That's why you don't hear and immediately you want to talk. No. Like the people will say, don't have your heart in your mouth. Give attention to procedures and personal processing so that you can come out from your deed each time. Number six. Your processing and prospecting from the inside is based on the level of understanding you have per time. So develop yourself comprehensively over life matters and issues that matter to you as a person. Number seven, there is a mingling of values, ideals, personal philosophies, and your self-esteem when it comes to personal perception. So cooperate with your personal courage as well without. Don't look so inferior as if you are nobody. You are somebody. That's why you have an entity in your inside. So participate very efficiently and effectively. Number eight, every interpretation and outcomes mixes up with your four energy lanes. And you know, every day is an energy line. Because you must vibrate. And in vibration, you build energies. And you also burn some certain energies. Which we have classified in the school of articulation. And behavioral alignment resources. Cyber resources. In four critical energies. One, spiritual energy. Energy of the heart. That powers your relationship on the spiritual note. With your God. And with human beings. And then you have mental energy. Energy of the mind that talks about your building and burning energy in respect of your will, your emotion, and all of that. The way you reason and think. They are all energies. And then, number three is called emotional energy. This is the energy of relationship. When the energy of your heart and that of your mind mixes together in solving issues, it is called emotional energy. In other words, energy in motion. Emotion, energy in motion. When your spiritual energy and mental energy coordinates and cooperates together in order to answer an issue, it's called emotional energy. The energy that interacts, interfaces, and intervenes in situations around you. And then on that note, we have physical energy, which is the energy of the body that talks about your balanced diet your rest protocol in sleeping and waking up, and your capacity to do exercises to keep you fit. So, to do good perception, these four energy lanes will have to work. Maybe in time to come, we'll study about the energy lifestyle so that you can be robust and comprehensive in all your daily approaches. So, let's go back. Point number 10. Go ahead and determine reasonable alignment with your sentiment and inclination. So, work in understanding. What do we mean? Understanding of yourself. Be yourself. There is no need pretending about life or copying anybody. Just be yourself. Be time in all your manifestations and daily issues. Number 11. This settlement within you Donates a new perspective to you to be adaptable. Never stay rigid. When you are rigid, you will not allow your perception and all the vital instruments that are woven within you to work. So don't be rigid. Allow your feelings to work. Allow your mind to work. Allow your thoughts to work. Your imaginations, they are all important 
in the school of perception and that right inside you. Number 12, the result goes ahead to form a new list of behavior for you. Then you need to act urgently. Very vital. This behavior informs you and others are fresh as it leads to a new thinking approach within you. So learn to accommodate and accept it. You have to accept the proceeds coming out from your inside. One of the best ways to do it is to write it down and look at it. That is your expression because you must mirror your thoughts, your feelings, and your decisions on the outside. Point number 13, this status goes ahead to create the feelings in your body and systems. So enjoy it, especially when it is on a positive note. Enjoy it. Your perception, enjoy it. And you don't need everybody to believe you. No, that would be wrong. Enjoy it. Be yourself, at least for once. 14. The feelings well up in your body to overwhelm you. So please allow it to just overwhelm you so as to create the much needed effect in your life. 15. You conclude on it as a decision. Please own it and learn to celebrate your own decision and perception. And that is the beginning of self-confidence and personal awareness. Until you accept who you are, others are not bound to take you serious in life. So number 17, you opt for decisions that are necessary. Take your conclusion and resolve it. Do it. Accept it. Very vital. 18. Passion is stimulated as a consequence. Very vital. Put passion in it. Do you believe it? Then you have to act passionately on what you do believe. Very vital. Then the next something 